Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, they say that wisdom comes with age. And um, when I was younger, I was like, yeah, okay, I read about it. Mm -hmm, okay. Well, I think certain things uh, um, depend on uh, our acuity, acuity, ability to observe things, memorize them, see patterns, if, because uh, you could, uh, you know, live long, a long life, but if you're dumb and you don't uh, look around you and you don't understand certain things by memorizing and seeing patterns, then uh, your experience means zero. Therefore, uh, it's actually, uh, you have to be capable first and then with age, you might get some wisdom and get wise. Now, why did I say this? I say this because... Uh, when you are uh, young, when you're a child, you're a teenager, you're a young adult and so on, uh, you learn a lot of things and you don't see, you can't compare. You're told, you know, when you're a child, well, do good in life. But you never ask why. And they say, because you want good to be done to you. Eh, okay, it makes sense. But when you get in life and so on, you find out that you, people do mostly bad things to you, not good things to you. And you say, I must be doing something wrong and you think of karma, okay? So then you say, why? I mean, I'm, I want to do good things. I do good things because I want good things to be done to me. And in my life, I was kicked in the balls more times than they were fondled. So what's going on here? And then you learn that certain things do not really match reality. Things that you learned, you read in books and you say, hey, be kind or be this. And then and around you, people are not kind. You're again kicked in the teeth more than you are kissed, you know, and so on. And then you say, this is bullshit. Why are we taught about these things? And you form your own, from based on your own experiences, you uh, create your worldview and you ignore this philosophy, this guy, this guy, these guys, and you have your own at one point. So I, I said this because at one point you get, you get to understand and um, guess people. That means when someone enters a, you, a room, you don't need too much time to kind of know who that person is, what that person is, how much that person thinks, how he thinks or she thinks. You don't need a lot of time. You've seen that before. You've seen a pattern in the way of thinking and so on, and you're ready. Pop, right there. It doesn't mean that you can't uh, make errors. You can make errors, of course. But in general, you gain the experience with life. And they tell you, hey, uh, he's Romanian. Oh, Romanians are so uh, uh, good people and so on. Pfft. Okay, how many did you, did you meet? I met, let's say, 20. Out of 20, let's say 19 were assholes. And only one was a good person. And why do you tell me that? How many did you meet? Uh, nobody, but I read it in a book written by a baby. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, bye-bye, move on. Okay, because my direct experience from, nine, from 20, 19 were disposable okay so i admire a few guys and it's very hard for me to admire someone because that someone must have some qualities okay i don't admire average mediocrities here so i admire this young guy uh and he is the foreign minister of hungary i the way he talks the way he thinks that's the most important thing the way he behaves all respect. I know that doesn't sound very good for my Romanian uh, friends, but I don't care. I care about reality and truth. I don't care about being, uh, you know, hey, how can you say a Hungarian guy is uh, like that? Because he is. As Jay, Kansar, Jay Shankar is, of, uh, the foreign minister of India is, Lavrov is, Wang Wei of China is, not Blinken of United States, not, uh, what's her name, ex- uh, foreign minister, what's her name, uh, Lizzie Lazy Trust, no, not Baerbock of, uh, of Germany, no, why, because I didn't need too much, I just listened to what she said, how she said it, how she thinks, I, I've seen that before, I know her caliber, or lack of, maybe, you know what I mean, caliber, if you know what I mean, anyway, <laughs> so let's see what Mr. Uh, Peter Sciarto said, is this guy. I encourage you to go and see this guy online in his interviews with Western Weasel Media. 
Those are hackers. Hacks. Hacks, not hackers. Are fuckers. This guy, intelligent. I don't know. He knows them. He knows them. He's so smart and he's young. And I like that. If he's not, then he's going to make a good career. Okay, let's see. This article comes from Al Ayedin. No, Al Mayedin. I'm sorry. It's an uh, Arab uh, independent news outlet. I know they don't like the Jewish state. So whenever it's about them, I got to, you know, cut that. Uh, because you feel, you know, again, experience. <laughs> there was the terms they attached to someone or some entity. You realize without reason, you call these guys this, you call that guy this. And, uh, you, you know, again, wisdom comes with age <clears throat> if you're smart. Uh, I'm not pretend to, but, uh, you know, reality is as it is. So, Hungarian foreign minister says this. U.S. ultimate beneficiary of recession in European Union. So he says that all this, as I said this before, the only beneficiary of this is United States and the three main branches, industry, uh, military industrial complex, banking system and energy system. That's it. The rest, one way or, an or another. The, f the foreign minister accused Ukrainian authorities of creating obstacles for some Hungarian companies in their markets just because they also work in Russia. Hungarian foreign minister Peter Zsarto told reporters on Friday that the U.S. is profiteering from the dire economic situation in Europe as it heads further and faster towards a recession. And I'm quoting, the fact that Europe's economy is moving towards recession is good news for the U.S. economy and it seems so that America has been able to get profit from it, Jarto told journalists. The foreign minister further added that the situation in Europe is devolving, due, devolving going down, right, due to the set of the obstacles by the EU Commission which are impeding the inflow of investments. He told reporters, that Ukrainian authorities created obstacles for some Hungarian companies in their market just because they also work in Russia. And I'm quoting, we consider it unacceptable that Hungarian companies are not allowed to work while Hungary is doing everything possible to support Ukraine. Jarto said, the key word is everything uh, possible. And the possibility is based on how much you want to do. On August 18, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said the Western sanctions were unsuccessful in destabilizing Russia and dealt a substantial blow to Europe's, Europe itself. And I'm quoting, a large part of the world empathetically does not get behind Washington and Kiev, including the Chinese, the Indians, the Brazilians, South Africa and Arab world, Africa, Orban told Orban told the sources. However, other energy-independent nations, in particular, will gain from Europe's weakness standing. Weaken, weakened standing, he said. The Russians benefit. EU imports from Russia have dropped by a quarter and Gazprom's revenues have doubled. The Chinese benefit. They used to be at the mercy of the Arabs. And of course, big American corporations benefit. The Hungarian leader said, pointing to the soaring revenues of oil, U.S. oil and gas giants, ExxonMobil, ConocoPhillips and Chevron. These are facts. Earlier today, it was reported that Politico published a provo provoking report that details accusations made by senior EU officials against the U.S for fracturing the West and making EU countries suffer at the expense of Biden's campaign for supporting Ukraine. Well, this is another, uh, another uh, uh, article that could be uh, cool. It says here, um, now they talk about the, uh, the, the cap. It says that yesterday, Germany Economy Ministry State uh, Secretary Sven Gigold said that proposed set by the EU Commission to impose a higher than expected price cap on Russian oil made every EU member dissatisfied to a different extent with the plan. So someone tries to, tries to push something on people that are supposed to vote for it, but they don't want to vote it, for it. We, who are those guys? The interest who are controlling blah, blah, blah. The Commission proposed on Tuesday the plan of imposing a cap on Russian oil worth 275 euros per megawatt 
stating starting January 1st, 2023 and the Dutch TTF index, the EU benchmark for 80% of the EU market. The cap is said to be implemented in full force if it's if its difference from the global LNG is equal or greater than 58 euros. Following the meeting, Shijarto said none of the EU energy ministry ministers had a say on Thursday's proposal. Really? Following the meeting, he said that none of the EU energy minister had a say on Thursday proposal. The next meeting of EU energy ministers, ministers is scheduled to take place on December 13. I think whatever this guy said, it's accurate and is backed by numbers, not by, oh, I like Hungarians and that's why I like uh, Peter here. No. And besides, if my Romanian friends will hear, hey, you talk about a Hungarian like that, what's wrong with you? Because we're supposed to not like them and they're supposed to not like us. I don't want to say hate, but that's kind of like how it is. So, uh, no, it's not like that. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the Romanian politicians, weasels, some of them, because... The president is is Deutsch, he's German, and um, he was voted in the office, like Zelensky, a Jew. <laughs> what do you want, man? You can make it's like it's like the Israel has a Palestinian uh, as the president and an Iranian as a prime minister. <laughs> Never. Why? <laughs> because because they they're smart and they're strong and they're influential and they got money, <laughs> like all of us. No discrimination here, no uh, singling out <laughs> anybody. Yeah, we know what we're doing here, okay? So, here we go. Uh, Mr. Peter Giartos knows exactly what's going on and he has fucking balls. He's got them right there. And these guys cannot use big fucking, you know how those uh, big scissors that you use uh, to cut your uh, whatever you got, uh, how do you call those bushes outside? Chick, chick, chick. They look for his balls with those ones, jup, 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 and they can't they're too big. They don't fit. They, they can't open the that big to catch them. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what it is. The profiteers are across the Atlantic. That's what they are. We here. That's why we have everything. By the way, let me give you a secret. Gas here is for free, but we're not supposed to tell you. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and uh, be just. And you're paying for it. <laughs>